as far as Nisab for gold is concerned, the Nisab for gold is 85 grams of gold or 7.5 tola gold. That is, one tola of gold is equal to 11.33 grams approximately. So, 7.5 tola gold is equal to 85 grams of gold. So, if it reaches that Nisab level or above this, and if it stays with you for one year, then zakat is compulsory. Based on the hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawud, in the book of Zakat, volume number two, hadith number 1568, where the beloved Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that zakat is on you, that is on gold, if it reaches 20 dinar. If zakat is not there, if it's less than 20 dinar, if it reaches 20 dinar, then zakat is fard. And one dinar is equal to one miskal. One miskal is four and a quarter grams. So 20 by four and a quarter comes to 85 grams of gold. So the nisab level for gold is 85 grams of gold. And again, it should be with you for one year. And the percentage of zakat is mentioned in the hadith of Ibn Majah in the book of zakat, hadith number 1791. It's mentioned that, as Aisha may Allah be pleased with her, she says that the Prophet used to take half dinar for every 20 dinar and one dinar for every 40 dinar. That means one fortieth of the portion or in percentage was two and a half percent. So whatever gold you have with you, that 85 grams of gold or above, you have to give 2.5 percent of that gold if it's with you for one year in zakat. As far as the nisab, for silver is concerned, it is 595 grams of silver or 52 and a half tolas of silver and the percentage of zakat is the same, it is 2 and a half percent. A beloved Prophet Muhammad said in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 2, in the book of zakat, hadith number 1447, that zakat is due on 5 okia of silver. So one okya is equal to 40 dirham. So five okya is equal to 200 dirham. And 200 dirham is equal to 595 grams or 52 and a half tola. So if the silver reaches the nisab level, the nisab is 595 grams of gold or 52 and a half tola. And the beloved prophet said in Surah Abu Dawud, volume number two, in the book of Zakat, Hadith number 1567, that pay 140th. That means give 140th portion in zakat. So even for silver, the percentage is 2.5%. So for gold and silver, the zakat percentage is 2.5%. But the nisab level for gold is 85 grams of gold or 7.5 tola. And for silver, the nisab is 595 grams of silver or 52.5 tola of silver. As far as farm produce is concerned, all farm produce are not liable for zakat. Farm produce such as seeds and fruits, such as wheat, barley, rice, date, raisin, coffee, cocoa, pistachio, cashew, all of them, they are liable for zakat. And the two Quranic verses speak about that. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 267, Give of what you have lawfully earned. Give of the good things that you have earned and the fruits of the earth which we have produced for you. So it says that give of the farm products. Further it's mentioned in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 141, that what is due, give it proper on the day of harvest. On the day of harvest, you have to give it. The nisab for farm produce is five asak, which is equivalent to 612 kilograms kg, and which is equivalent to 1346.4 pounds. This is the nisab level. If it's less than this, then you should not give zakat. And there are two types of farm produce. One type which Zakat is only liable on those farm produce which are used as food 
and they can be stored naturally without refrigeration. As I mentioned, wheat, rice, barley, cocoa, they can be stored. Sakat is liable on that. But if it's a farm produce which is perishable, like fruit such as grapes, such as banana, such as mango, all of them, they are perishable. So Zakat is not liable on them. And as I mentioned, on farm produce, which can be stored, it should be given on the day of harvest. And those are perishable, you should not give. Now, there are two types of farm produce. One farm produce, which does not require any human labor or irrigation, and they are watered by the rainwater. No human labor is required, no irrigation. On this farm produce, 10% zakat is liable, 10%. Should be given on the day of harvest. And those on which water is required by the human beings, that is man-made irrigation, or labor is required, on them, 5% zakat is liable on the day of harvest. And for those items which are perishable, fruits, etc., like orange, mango, banana, grapes, all of them zakat is not liable. But if you sell and if you make a profit, and if the profit is kept with you for a year, and if it reaches above any sub level, then zakat is liable on them. As far as animal is concerned, only those animals that are used for grazing, that freely graze. And you don't have to feed them, no other than we feed them, like camels, cows, goats, sheep. On them, zakat is liable. For other animals where the owner has to feed them with hay, like horse, etc., for them, zakat is not liable. But naturally, if it's sold and if the money is used and the money is kept and if it reaches above Nisal will keep you for one year, then zakat is liable. But generally, directly zakat is only on the cattle, camel, cow, goat, sheep. And the nisab level for camel is five camels. For the cow, it is 30. And for goat and sheep, it is 40. And there's a hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number two, in the book of zakat, hadith number 1454, that Allah may Allah be pleased with him. He says that he'll take zakat from the people and he gives Allah's messenger. He quotes him and says that he said that for every five camels, one sheep should be given. The nisab for the camel is five. And for every five camels, one sheep should be given in zakat. And as the camels keep on increasing, zakat keeps on changing. For the sheep, once it reaches 40, then you have to give one sheep. Below 40, there's no zakat. 40 is the nisab level for the sheep. If it reaches 40, then one sheep should be given. Between 40 and 120, it is one sheep. Between 120 and 200 sheep, it is two sheep. Between 200 and 300 sheep, it is three sheep. And then additionally, for every 100 sheep, there's one sheep. This is a zakat. So the minimum zakat, the minimum percentage, people think that 2.5% is fixed on everything. On most of the things, it's 2.5%. But the minimum is, if you have 119 sheep, it is one sheep. So it comes to about 0.82%. So the lowest zakat is on sheep 0.82%. On average, if it goes above 200, 300, it is 1%. For 300, it is 3. For 200, it is 2. And the average is 2.5% for most of the things. And the highest, as we discussed earlier, for farm produce, which does not require irrigation, by rainwater is irrigated, for that is 10%. Maximum is 10%. For farm produce, which require irrigation, 5%. Lowest, as I mentioned, in cattle, it is 1% or 0.82%, but majority is 2.5% zakat. As far as paper currency is concerned, it is interchangeable with gold and silver. We should try and find out the value of your paper currency, and that keeps on changing. We can either evaluate what is the amount of currency that will reach the nisab level, either with the nisab of the gold, that is 85 grams of gold, or the nisab of the silver, that is 595 grams of silver. So we should try and find out what would be the cost of 85 grams of gold in your country, in your currency, or 595 grams of silver in your country, in your currency. Now the difference of opinion that what should we take as nisab? Should we take the nisab of the gold or the silver? Some of the forecasts say, 
that take the lower limit so that a person gives zakat even though the nisab is low. Some of the fuqaha say that take the nisab which is higher so that that gives advantage to the poor person and he not pay till it reaches the higher level of the nisab. While other fuqaha say that since silver was used as a way of trading in the olden days, so you should take the nisab of the silver and try and find out what is your currency as far as 595 grams of silver is concerned. But this option is left. But if you really want to be more sure, then you can take the lower level of nisab. And normally silver, the rate of silver nowadays, 595 grams of silver is much less than 85 grams of gold. We should see what is the current value. Suppose you're calculating the zakat to be paid at one particular date, whether it be the first of Ramadan, whatever it is. We have to find out what is the value of 595 grams of silver or 85 grams of gold at that time. Now at present in India, the value of one gram of gold is approximately 900 rupees. That will be approximately 22, 23 dollars for one gram of gold. This rate of silver and gold will change in each country. What is the value in India will change, what's in Dubai may change in America, may change in UK. And the currencies also keep on fluctuating. In India today, approximately, for one gram of gold is approximately 900 rupees. That comes to 20 to 23 dollars. That means 85 grams of gold, the Nisab level would be 76,500 rupees, approximately. In dollars, it would be somewhere close to 1,900 dollars. If you want to take the Nisab level of silver, then one kg of silver approximately costs in India 18,000 rupees. That's equal to 450 dollars. So 595 grams of silver would cost approximately 10,710 rupees. And in dollars, it will be about 268 dollars, approximately. But the rate will change in Dubai, will change in UK, will change in USA. So wherever you're living, you can take any financial magazine, economic magazine, and try and find out the rate, and you can calculate yourself. And if it reaches that level, then you should give zakat, if it's above that also. So 2.5% on whatever savings you have, whatever surplus you have, you have to give that much zakat that year.